Hey there, this is Ranjit and on this video we'll be doing the camera review for this Asus Zenfone 2. And I've taken a lot of sample shots and even video with the front facing as well as the rear facing camera. I'll show you all of them a bit later. But first let's have a look at uh, the interface. And the rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter with dual LED flash and the LED flash is actually pretty powerful and it can record video up to 1080p. Whereas the front facing camera is a five megapixel shooter and this can also record video up to 1080p. And let me quickly just show you the uh, camera interface and then I'll show you the sample shots that I've taken. And this is the front facing camera that I have and we have this beautification option. And, and this is sort of the timer, you can adjust it as you can see. Let's say after two seconds, I, I wanted to take a snap. You can do that, you can adjust the beautification. And we also have a lot of modes even for the front facing camera. I did most of my testing with the auto mode and only in the auto mode, uh, the video option comes. Let's move to the rear facing camera now. And uh, this is the rear facing camera that we have. Let me bring some objects and by default it will be in the auto mode. And we have the tap to focus. And in a bright light like this, this is studio lights. Uh, the performance is pretty good and it's fast. But I would say uh, in artificial lighting and in low lighting conditions, the shutter speed can be delayed. It can take almost two odd seconds before it fires. Also, I have kept the flash to off because in the auto mode, I noticed that it was firing quite a bit of times uh, when I thought it should not fire. And the flash is actually pretty powerful. And these are all the options that are provided. Asus has provided us a lot of options. I won't go in depth over each of them because Ash has already made a video in which he goes over them. But I do like the manual mode and this offers us a lot of options. If you have an idea about cameras, you really love it. You can adjust the ISOs, uh, you can adjust the exposure, white balance, etc. And you can get a lot of control, I would say. You can get this bokeh effects and stuff like that. So it's pretty Pretty cool I would say uh, but let me actually now show you the sample shots that I've taken with this device so that you can judge the camera performance and these sample shots were shot with the rear facing camera of this Asus Zenfone 2 and as you can see in outdoor lighting conditions where there's a lot of natural light the camera performance is actually pretty good and it can take pretty good pictures also in terms of color accuracy it's pretty good but in terms of bokeh i would say you got to be careful because i couldn't get the bokeh effect every time recording this video with the asus zenfone 2 at the highest uh, resolution possible that is 1080p uh, there is an option of video stabilization uh, but when we, when we enable it it goes down to 720p uh, so i'm recording it at the maximum resolution possible that is 1080p and I'm doing this handheld. So do let me know what do you feel about the video recording. And the audio is also being recorded by the internal microphone of this Zenfone 2. And I'm going to now just walk back. So do let me know what do you feel about the video recording with this Asus Zenfone 2 in outdoor conditions. Now these were shot in semi-indoor conditions and I would say here also the Asus Zenfone 2 did a pretty decent job. But one thing I do not like is that the flash is over aggressive here it fired the flash and even this picture it fired the flash. Here I manually shut off the flash and even uh, without the flash the picture was okay. Some more sample shots in semi-indoor conditions and here the flash was set to auto. And as you can see the flash is actually pretty powerful. Here also the flash was kept to on and here without the flash. As you can see without the flash in indoor conditions the pictures are not that good. Now see some of the sample shots taken in my office in completely artificial lighting. And here as you can see it does a decent job but again it's not that great. There is still a lot of noise in the picture even with the flash and these are some samples without the flash. These were shot with the front facing camera and the front facing camera overall I would say it's pretty decent but in uh, uh, low lighting and an artificial light pictures look a bit plasticky. So what do I feel about the camera performance of this Asus Zenfone 2? And by the way, this part of the footage is being recorded with the front facing camera of this Asus Zenfone 2 and the audio is also being recorded by the internal microphone. Okay, let's talk about the camera performance. Let's first talk about the uh, rear facing camera. In outdoor lighting conditions where there's plenty of light, as you've seen from the sample shots, the camera quality is pretty good. But again, it's not very surprising because most of the smartphones uh, with the ample light do a good job. And here also the Asus Zenfone 
Zenfone 2 did perform like that. The thing that I like with the Asus Zenfone 2 is the amount of modes that Asus has offered. And if you are sort of comfortable with the manual mode, this uh, Asus Zenfone 2 provides us a lot of options and thereby you can get actually a lot better shots compared to the auto mode. But when we move to indoor lighting and artificial lighting, I would say the weaknesses of this camera are evident and uh, many times there is a lot of noise in the picture. Uh, but it can do a decent job if you have very stable hands. The thing with an artificial light and low, low lighting conditions is that after hitting the shutter button, it can take almost two odd seconds before it takes a picture. And that is simply not ideal because if you're taking pictures of people, they won't be still for almost two odd seconds. So in those uh, circumstances, I would say the pictures will come out to be a little bit blurry because it does not have any optical image stabilization. But I would say it does a decent job. On the other hand, the dual the tone flash that we have is actually pretty powerful and it can fill up a, a lot of area in low lighting conditions. But again, you've got to be very careful because the uh, flash at times is overpowering. And if your subject is, let's say, just around three feet or so, uh, it can overexpose pictures. I've faced that a lot. So you've got to be careful with the uh, flash on this Asus Zenfone 2. Now, if we move to completely artificial light, for example, here in my office, as you can see, I just closed this light. So it can do a decent job, I would say, but again, you have to have very stable hands. Otherwise, the pictures will come out to be a little bit blurry. To sum it up, I would say the camera performance is decent, but not uh, very good. You just simply cannot compare it with high-end uh, smartphones. The uh, For the price, uh, Asus Zenfone 2 is selling in India for around 20,000. I would say the camera performance is okay. But overall, if you say the camera performance is sort of mediocre in my opinion. Now, if we move to the video uh, department, here I was actually disappointed because though the front-facing camera as well as the rear-facing camera can record video in 1080p, but the video quality uh, was simply not that sharp. The 1080p video was very soft to my liking. And that's the same case even with the front-facing camera. But though the front-facing camera, I would say, does a decent job, as you can see, in terms of video recording. This isn't completely artificial light. And now just to have one tube light, it does a decent job, I would say. So I would say overall, it's a decent camera, but again, it's not extraordinary. I'll also be posting the full in-depth review for the Asus Zenfone 2 very soon. So stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit, and I hope to see you in my next video.